Alrighty, ho, party people. Welcome in. I hope you're all having a fabulous day so far today. Oh, hey, it's my face. <laughs> Welcome in, Pickle Rick. Congrats on being the first to arrive. Hello, Stardew. Welcome to the stream. Hello, Sarah. Welcome in, Ally Pally. It has been a minute, hasn't it? Hello, Inch. Sorry you gotta go to bed. But thanks so much for stopping by and saying hi. I hope you have a good sleep. Hello, Sunset. Hello, Mochi. Welcome in, Meg. Hello, Incarnadine. Hello, Jean. It has... It has been a minute, yes. Uh, yeah, basically. <laughs> I just was... I don't know. I got distracted by a bunch of stuff. And then it became harder and harder to start streaming. But here we are now. Hope you didn't miss me too bad. I'm ready to get back into this. And only two weeks before we're back to school. Cat, thank you so much for the resubscription for the 25th month. Wait, 26? 26 month. Wait, what? I I don't. Okay, the alert's confusing me. But thank you for the 26th month. Enjoy your emotes, your sub badges, and your ad-free viewing. It says resubscribe for 25 months at tier one. They've been subscribed for 26 months. I guess that just means you missed a month. I don't understand what that means. <laughs> Pickle Rick, thank you so much for the resubscription. Welcome back to the stack for the 19th month. Enjoy your emotes, your sub badges, and your ad free viewing. It is more than two. Brittany, welcome in. Maybe did a tier two one month. That's probably it. I just, I just confused me. Hi, Brittany. If y'all don't know Brittany, Brittany's a wonderful streamer on here, on Twitch as well. Definitely go give them a follow. Hello, Jean. You gotta pay for school this week. Ooh, make sure you get that done. Don't forget. Hello, hello, everyone. Or a gifted sub? Oh, that's possible, Cat. That's possible. Who knows? The miracle of life. Stardew Valley. Uh-oh, we got the wrong thing up, believe it or not. There it is. Alright, um, I forgot how to play this game. We're gonna see how this goes. So, I've been playing the uh, Slay the Spire board game a whole bunch. Work here. So Slay the Spire has a board game, and I have never had my hours in my day melt away so fast. <laughs> I'll like start the game, and then I'll like look up, and it's like 9 p.m., and I started in the a.m. <laughs> it's it was really cool though, because it felt like I don't know. It was really good like mental work. I feel like I felt like I was actually like thinking really hard for like a whole day. Which is probably good for me. I don't know. Maybe it's bad for me. I still remember how to play, it seems like. I have power in chat again. Oh, we're on Squidfest. Oh dear, we're on Squidfest. I got a fish off the bat. Does anyone remember what my setup for Squidfest was? I think it's squid bait, right? I think we do squid bait. I wonder if magnets are better, just for more chests. Hmm. Oh, I need a tool to figure this stuff out, because right now I'm just kind of... I need a uh, squid row. Technically I need squid as well, but that's not as big of a deal. I need the squid row. So I can only get squid row from treasure chests that I catch when catching squid, and they're not guaranteed to be in there either. But yeah, we'll do squid bait. Hoo ha ha. Let's get all this hardwood. There we go. All right. Put all that away. It's looking pretty good. And let's get our fishing rod going here. So that's the one we want. Hmm, what bobbers do we think we want here? Honestly, like, I can probably catch it with a treasure bobber, right? It might be ideal to just go for... Treasure bobber... And, um, Dress Spinner. Hi, Ori! It's good to see you. 
Yeah, the squids can go in ponds. They just don't give row. They give um, squid ink instead. But when Concerned Ape added the row from fishing chests, it just applied to all fish regardless. So the only way to get that row is by catching the fish. Uh, we're doing squid bait, which I think we're keeping in here, right? Yes. That's a pretty good amount, honestly. Alright, and then I'm thinking Dress Spinner, Treasure Bomber? I don't know if that's the best move. Oh, but we want Iridium ones, don't we? Hmm. We are going to need Iridium, so yeah, we'll do Dress Spinner quality, and that should be fine. Hi, Mel. Welcome in. Can we get a shout out for Mel? Mel is a wonderful streamer here on Twitch and a super awesome person. If you're not following Mel, you absolutely should be. It's lovely to see you, Mel. Oh, Mel, are you going to TwitchCon? I feel like you are, but I just want to make sure. Oh, squids are up here. Oh, yeah, we're already up to 231. Yes! I get to see you again. That's so exciting. Okay, so we're going to get some squiddies. Ideally, we should just turn these squid into bait. Yeah, that seems reasonable. Thanks for the hype train, everybody. It's good to see you, too. I think we have a few extra in here. We do... Oh, we do. Okay. We'll take one of those. And then we need our bobbers. So we're going to need iron for the dress spinners. Copper for the quality bobbers. Uh, I believe it's solar essence for the quality. What's the other thing? I haven't played in too long. Sap. Really? Sap. Okay. I think we're good. Oh, that's sneakers. Just started your new job and immediately pressed it off for it. Good call, Mel. I have to request mine off, too. I think I'm going to be able to start requesting off next week, so i got to remember to do that. Sneakers and Sneaky are in the frame. They missed you all. Alright, um... This should be good now. Yeah. I don't know if that's going to be enough bait, though. Here's what I'll do instead. I'm going to put these in here. I'm going to take some of these instead. That should be fine. Alright, uh, and it is a Friday. So we should probably do our regular Friday things. Just real quick here. That reminds me, we do need to buy from Willy. Is he there in the morning? Not on Squid Fest days, but just like in general. Oh, we do need that. Fair enough. Oh no, we don't. We got all the bait now. I forgot we did that. Alright, let's make sure we don't press the button here so we don't lose all the stuff we picked up. And put that away. 412 rare crows. Very nice. And then I think we just go fishing. Oh! Oh, I almost forgot food. Yeah, Willy doesn't work on Saturday. Sorry. I conflated something that's no longer the case. We don't need to worry about it anymore. Okay. By the way, how is my luck today? Okay. It's decent. Hi, Nochalette. Welcome in. It's good to see you. And hi, Chloe. I hope you're doing good as well. All right. I always go rock fishing. Just feels right. Ah! I forgot how to play! I'm pressing tab for menu. Alright, here we go. When was the last spreadsheet update? IRL time? Several months ago? Um, In-game time? A few years ago. 
We're trying to get to the end of your 80. Cool, we got a sardine first. We do have the squid bait on, right? Okay. Unfortunately, with my long break there and spotty stuff before, it's just got delayed a bit. Squid! Oh, we have the um, blessing of the... Okay. <laughs> cool, my tackle wore out. Forgot the cloth. Okay, I think I can't hide this anymore. My mouse wheel has been terrible lately. Maybe I should stop relying on it so much in general. Uh, okay, here we go. Cloth. Nice stack check. We are still in 78, but we're almost at the end. There we go. That's a squid. I was wondering why they weren't moving at all before. We have not gotten a chest yet, which is a little unfortunate. There's one. Row, row, row your squids. Nope. I like this festival a lot. And the Trout Derby. I think it's really cool to have, like, the two competition festivals. Festivals. I kind of wish there was, like, a hard goal. I guess there is, like, the Iridium one, but, like, I feel like it's too easy to get. I feel like I'm always wanting this game to be slightly harder. <laughs> Probably just because I played it too much. Oh, the hats too, yeah. Nope. Oh, you accidentally paused the stream. Hey, we got our first row. Good deal. Starting well. Sorry, Alexa. <laughs> I mean, sorry, Sarah. Yeah, we've been going for a little bit now. We're doing Squid Fest today and tomorrow. Come on, treasure chests. You are not a squid. But technically speaking, we need all fishies in Iridium quality at the moment. In the Hotel California. Such a lovely place, Sarah. Oh, look at Leo's little... That's so cute. Katie, welcome in! To be fair, I haven't streamed much this month, so it's not your fault, Katie. I don't even think I've streamed five times this month outside of this one. Good to see you, though, Katie. Oh, the season. Streamed a bit more than that this season. Something about summer makes me so lazy. Weirdly enough, I think I'll get back into a regular streaming, streaming schedule when school starts up. Night shift is a different world, so I've heard. Come 
Come on, row. Nope. You deserve your lazy time. Yeah, but like I like streaming. I don't know. I just got distracted by a bunch of stuff. In June, I really wanted to play Baldur's Gate, and I did. And then in July, I was playing the Slay the Spire board game almost every day. <laughs> I beat the heart on Ascension 4. I think the board game might actually be more difficult than the uh, computer game. Oh, my fishing thing wore out. Don't jump! You jumped! I thought it was full. <laughs> Nine months of teenagers, yeah. I'm ready for it though. We got more row. Let's um properly put this stuff in here. Their parents. I honestly have not had any issues with parents. I'm planning on being more mean this year, so we'll see. Maybe it'll come up. I don't mean actually more mean. I just mean more strict, I guess, would be the way to put it. Hello, random name. Welcome in. to get away from me there. How's it going? It's going well. I just realized we have not seen a single golden treasure chest yet. It's kind of crazy. Alright, we can um, delete you and delete you. And then I'm going to guess yeah, the quality bobber ran out so let's get a new one of those. I got a headache from staring at my drawing tablet too much but I need drawing. Can you like turn down the brightness at all? I don't know. You'd probably think of that before I would, right? <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that you got a headache from that, though. That's really annoying. Have you heard about the 2020-20 uh, rule? Where, like, every 20 minutes, stare at something 20 feet away for 20 seconds. I've heard that really helps with that, if people get, like, headaches from staring at screens for too long. So if you're, like, by a window or something... Every 20 minutes, make sure you take 20 seconds to look at something far away. It's dark outside. Okay, that might be a little harder. <laughs> There's no like, lights out there? <laughs> That's not the rule I heard, random name, but I'm not opposed to it. Stare into the void. Technically, if your eyes are unfocused, that's better than focusing them on something that close up for that long. I think. I don't know. I'm not a doctor. <laughs> Only void. You know what happens when you stare into the void for too long. It starts making awkward conversation following all around everywhere. No, you're thinking of guys. That's guys. Although, I'll just make awkward conversation regardless of what happens beforehand. It swallows you up. The void? No, the void is comforting. Everyone's so afraid of the void. What'd the void ever do to you? I think Incarnadine was making a joke because usually... The thing is, the thing you say is, if you stare too long into the void, the void stares back. Okay, I need to clean up my inventory here. So here's what we're gonna do. Okay. 
It would be funny if that was a reference to something, though. Uh, boom, boom. Hmm. This stuff's not easy to put away, is it? We can keep that on me. I can see we can go down there. Pearl goes here. Yeah, Pearl go here. Let's just double check this isn't done yet. The void's really bad at conversation. Oh, this is done. Okay, well. Let's go do this now. It happens. I imagine the void would probably be pretty awkward at conversation. Oh, <laughs> I just hit the sprinkler. <laughs> I was like, why am I not moving? I can... Is my keyboard not working? Or... When you stare into the void, a monster jumps out at you to wake you up from a nightmare and you feel scared again for a few minutes. Feels like personal experience right there. <laughs> Sounds very sleep paralysis-esque. Has anyone ever gotten sleep paralysis before? younger I tried to lucid dream and it worked but it made me get sleep paralysis so I stopped trying to do it Honestly, would not recommend. Oh my gosh, this thing. Okay. Well, possibly overdid it a little bit. You had nightmares when you tried to lucid dream? Yeah, it's very interesting, isn't it? I feel like the sleep paralysis thing kind of makes sense when you're trying to lucid dream because it's like you're trying to like be awake while you're asleep. And then the opposite probably happens as well, right? Like you're asleep while you're awake. I'm glad to hear it's not happening to you anymore, random. I have heard it's more likely, or more common with children, at least. But it's, like, so scary. Gosh, and imagine, like, before, like, we understood that it was, like, a worldwide phenomenon. <laughs> children are probably, like, literally thinking they got visited by the devil or something. <laughs> much more real feeling than any other dream you have, so it's very, uh... Oof. Yeah. Common people sleep on their backs? Don't most people sleep on their backs? That might just be a population thing. Do more people sleep on their sides? I feel like back is much more comfortable. You don't? Okay. I mean, I do fall asleep on my side sometimes, but I think I prefer my back. It's like one of those things I don't really think about at all.
Okay, have you guys heard like the, the the toilet paper debate? Like which way you face it, inward or outward, when you put it on the roll? I guess some of you are probably European and have like bidets or something, but I have never like once thought about it. I think I just like put it both ways, whatever way it ends up being, and I just like don't care. But some people are pretty passionate about it, it feels like. I think someone said that you're wrong when I explain how I did it. What? It rolls both ways. What does it matter what side it's on? No, 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 not the not the how you wipe thing, the uh, how you put it on the roll thing. I guess we really don't need these things. Front is the only acceptable configuration. Have you tried it the other way? Is it that much of an inconvenience to you? Uh oh, Saribot caught someone. Uh, we need to do this. Should only matter if I, you have cats. I do not have cats. You're not going to convince me very well. I've been doing it my whole life and it's never been inconvenient. <laughs> what is the water container you flush with? It's just part of the toilet, at least here in the US. I don't know if it's different elsewhere. I think it's called, um, I don't know. <laughs> it's just like the upper part of the toilet. No idea what it's called. The tank. Okay, yeah, that's probably fair. The toilet well. <laughs> we'll just give it fancy names. <laughs> On routine in general? I don't know what you mean by routine in general. Just like how I do things? Basin? Isn't the basin like the bowl? That feels much more like a basin than the... Yeah, okay. I guess they're both kind of basins. You don't speak English natively? Yeah. I'm not sure it's like any different. I guess tank would be the best I could think of. Alright, we're not using the bubbles, it's too much work. Um. I feel like I don't really like falling into routines very much, but. I feel like you have to, right? Like, especially on like a work week, you only have certain times to do things, right? You're at work for most of the day. So it kind of just makes sense to do things efficiently. But yeah, like during the summer, no, I don't really do too much routine stuff. I mean, I do my like nightly and morning, like brushing teeth, washing face sort of things. Cistern, huh. I guess you could call it that. <laughs> We don't really, like, name it very often, I guess. I think tank would probably work better. When we do name it. <laughs> I love that, Katie. It's great. Why would I not... Like, it runs out, I waddle over to the cabinet, <laughs> I pop out the 
plastic thing I put the roll on and I don't really care what direction it goes on when I put it on. <laughs> like I've just never really thought about it and I continue to not really think about it. Because front and back both work fine. I've never had any trouble with either. What about wet wipes, Gene? I mean, they can't go in the toilet, but... This is a very interesting conversation. Because my cabinet is not in arm's reach? I mean, to be fair, I usually replace it before I go, because I can see... Oh, there's not enough toilet paper there. <laughs> It's definitely not single layer. Hi, Beachobo Ray. Welcome in. If y'all don't know Ray, Ray is a wonderful streamer here on Twitch. Can we get a shout out for Ray, by the way? It's good to see ya. Hey, a gold chest. Finally. It's our first one of the day. A shrimp cocktail, you say? In front of the toilet? How do you get to the toilet if the... <laughs> if the toilet paper is in front of the toilet? <laughs> uh, there's lots of commands. I think it's exclamation mark commands will show you all of them, but there's like hundreds. Thanks, cat. Uh, yeah, let's just go back. I uh, like two feet away. Okay. There's room like slightly to the side. I have done that before, but it feels weird. I don't know. It feels like untidy. To just like keep a huge bag of toilet paper in the bathroom without it being like in a cabinet. Neutral spirits. What's this? Interesting. All right. Did I miss something? I didn't get this statue. Not that it really mattered. All right, Squid Fest part two. I guess we can just keep those there. Alright, that means we're gonna need some more iron, copper, solar essence, and sand. Let's just see if there's anything down there. Oh, we got maple seeds. Oh, we have pine cones. Everybody poops. True. need a quality bobber. There we go. <laughs> That's a good point, yeah. If you have friends coming over, it is good to have, like, visible toilet paper, probably, just in case. Got something. I need food. Fish and food. I'm 
also gonna drop off some of my tools. I kind of don't need them. Oh, pine cone. Hi, Nick. Welcome in. Thanks so much for coming by to say hi. Ooh, we almost lost it. Brain is just tuned to hear a sound and click. One twenty eight is a good number. Two to the sixth. Two times two. Should tackle his worn out. Is it two to the fifth? No, sixth, right? Two times two is four, times two is eight. Wait, two to the one is just two. Okay, never mind, it's much higher than that. Seventh. <laughs> I'll take your word for it, Katie. Or random, sorry. Both your names are red. It's very hard. <laughs> It's tough out here. Mm, sorry to hear that, Neck, but thank you so much for coming by. See you later. My squids on the day of Squid Fest. We have a quest. I should check what that is. Riverfish. Not great for Squid Fest week. What's your favorite number? PD or random? Or do y'all have favorite numbers? 337, nice. Hey Ezra, welcome in. Just want to pop by and say hi. It's lovely to have you here, Ezra. Hope you're doing well today. You forgot your favorite number? Happens to all of us. I've been playing uh, some of my Switch files and getting withdrawal from lack of targeted bait and Iridium Scythe. Hopefully it'll be soon. I imagine there's some serious bug squashing going on. 
probably especially in the mobile department. 1024 is a good one. Dang, Killer Cubby coming in with the, the millions place. Oh, we need you. Hey, way two ace, welcome in. Ooh. Is that the only number that's true for way two ace? It must be, right? Maybe you can do it with other numbers. Maybe not any other integers, though. Reverse powers. 28. Interesting, interesting. My dad's favorite number is 36, and I, I like it. It's a good number. I don't know if it's my favorite, though. 49 a bunch for Firefly. Four hearts is my favorite playing card. You might like Bellatro. Six squared is good. Yeah, there's a lot of cool numbers. Some might say an infinite amount of cool numbers. It's funny because you can say not all numbers are cool, but there's still an infinite amount of cool numbers. And that is not logically inconsistent, despite what it seems like. <laughs> How's my uh, bait going? Oh, we're okay with bait. Anything divisible by five. That's a lot of numbers. Infinitely many, in fact. Favorite negative number is negative three. Pi is kind of OP. Oh, pi. <laughs> pi does a lot. I prefer tau, though. Like you work today, despite it being Saturday. Hmm. Tau supremacy, high robot worm, welcome in. I had a feeling that would make you show up. <laughs> Y'all are sleeping on Phi. I wouldn't say sleeping. Phi is pretty cool. Hi, Ginger, welcome in. story number is like loader's number what is the story behind loader's number i feel like a lot of numbers have a story behind them like anything higher than five digits <laughs> that is a name number probably has a story behind it uh what do we lose quality bobber Avogadro's number is based. Base what? Big Num Bake Off. Oh! Pi is transcendental. But what about E to the Pi? Is that transcendental? Or Pi plus E? What about avocado's number? No one ever talks about avocado's number. Sea cucumber row. Gross. It's very hard to prove a number is transcendental. 
Uh, transcendental, um, I think it means it can't be, it's, it's irrational and it can only be found via writing out an infinite series, I think is what that means. So like you can get to pi by writing on infinite series, you can get to e by writing on infinite series, but like the square root of two is irrational, but you can get it geometrically by um uh by having a 45 45 90 triangle of one and one legs the length of that will get uh will be root two so that would be irrational and then transcendental means you can the only way to get it is to write out an infin infinite series which is like the sum of like it'd be like x to the first over two plus x to the second over three plus x, and then it would just go on infinitely that would go to infinity, though. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Love the cats on your head. What's the name? This is Sneakers, and then this is Sneaky. And it, it's time for them to sit down. Avocado's number? The number of atoms in a guacamole. <laughs> it should be. That would actually be a good name. It can't be represented with the roots of rational numbers. Okay, so that's it. Maybe not, then. And then I know there's also computable numbers versus uncomputable numbers. There's lots of good old Vsauce videos. I wonder if he just got tired of making them. He still does like tours and stuff, right? A mole of moles. <laughs> okay, wait. The number of atoms and the amount of guacamole whose mass is equal to one mole, which is an actual mole, but the mass of a mole varies. Oh, I have no doubt about that, Ginger. It's probably a nice day, huh? It's nice here, too. It's too nice. Oh, swimming Olympics are today. Oh, I've been watching volleyball. I love volleyball. Olympic volleyball is so fun to watch. USA is playing well. No spoilers, though, because I've only watched... I didn't watch the game late yesterday yet. You went into the mountains today. It must be nice to be able to just go into the mountains for the day. <laughs> we don't have mountains here in Michigan. We have hills sometimes. It's have scientists agreed on the mass of a mole? Like the animal mole? That gets confusing. If you're talking about science and you use the term mole, people are just going to assume you mean like... Standard mole mass. <laughs> what about a standard molar mass? Like the mass of a molar tooth? No one ever talks about that mass. A mole is, like, mostly carbon already, isn't it? Point three five kilograms. It's probably on Wikipedia, right? That seems light. I guess moles aren't that heavy. Maybe I'm imagining, like, a, a groundhog or something. That's probably bigger. How much protein is in a mole? I feel like all proteins are made of mostly carbon, right? I'm not a chemist, but most life is made out of carbon. Jess, you missed it! We were talking about numbers. What's your favorite number, Jess? Welcome in. Can we get a shout out for the Valiant Sun? The wonderful, incredible, super awesome, mega cool Jess. If y'all don't know Jess, Jess is awesome. Make sure you give Jess a follow. I think we can just press that button. 
Can't do that here. Um, I guess that's all we got. I'll go with Phi right now because I just watched a video on it. You're the second person to say Phi today. All I'm saying, not very original. <laughs> it's good to see you, Jess. I expect there to be a lot of hydrogen and oxygen in a mole. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. Hmm. That's confusing. I've decided I'm going to ignore it. Okay, I can just delete some of this stuff. I really don't need any more squid hats. I have so many. We can keep the treasure chest, though. Oh, they're very light goals are. Interesting. I mean, you still weren't off by that much, though. You also watched your video on Fi recently? Is this a number file video? Or a Matt Parker video? I was rewatching a lot of Matt Parker's videos. That happens to me a lot. They get recommended to me on YouTube, and I'm like, yes, I would like to watch Matt Parker talk about math again. How'd you know, YouTube? <laughs> I'm not hard to please. Uh-huh. Vi Heart video on Fibonacci Spiros from like 12 years ago. Ooh, okay. Very cool. Hi, Tally. Welcome in. Can we get a shout out for Tally? Tally is a super awesome streamer here on Twitch who also does the 999 challenge and has been doing a lot more than I have recently. So if you're interested in another take on the 999 challenge, you should definitely check out Tally's stream. Enjoy your lurk, Katie. Routine time. No problem, Tally. I hope you've been doing good. You too, Jess. Hope you've been doing good as well. Oh, Jess, I forgot to message you, but um, I don't think I can reasonably make it happen anymore. Sorry. I was all excited about it too, but... Yeah. It's just too close. I I thought I had another week before school started. <laughs> and I do not. <laughs> Get you next time? Absolutely. I mean, TwitchCon. See you later, way to ace. Have a wonderful rest of your day, and thank you. Melon seeds. Red mullet. Row. I've only gotten five squid row this year. I got like 12 last year, didn't I? I guess the year isn't over yet. This, this is a super cucumber. No, I think it is a squid. Mm. Fish than sense here. One fishy. Red mullet row again. Finally found the guy. I watched another roof video about Fi. Interesting. I don't think I've heard their name before. Roofer by day, math expert by night. We 
are looking for Squid Row. I must say, it's not going amazing yet. Okay. And I've had days where I got like 50 something squid. I wonder what I was doing differently. Pam just hangs out here. Doesn't even fish. How many days does whatever this fishing festival is last? This is the Squid Fest, and it just lasts for two days. So today is the last day. And we'll be done fishing for a minute. We hope. We hope you enjoy your stay. It's good to have you with us, even if it's just for the day. We hope you enjoy your stay. Outside the sun is shining, seems like heaven ain't far away. It's good to have you with us, even if it's just for the day. I guess we still have time here. Yeah, there's some cool festivals. There's really three new ones. And the Desert Festival is definitely the coolest one. You can just sleep till then. Random name. Oh. Don't lose your fish. Aggressively, we all defend the role we play. Hey, Jelly Dog, welcome back. See ya. I guess I'm the one who's back. <laughs> Haven't finished perfection yet. Alright, this will last for the rest of the day. Gotta sleep. See you later, robot. May math haunt your dreams nicely. Oh, wow. That's nice. That's a good way to end things. Oh, and we got a dress spinner to replace the one we just lost. That's great. Good night, robot worm. Come on! Oh, I mean, I can't be offended about the golden animal cracker, I suppose. It's surprising how few we're getting. Is iridium mayonnaise a thing? Yes. Uh, you need ostriches to get it. 
ostrich eggs keep their quality when you process them. What do you reckon golden animal cra crackers taste like? Um, they struck me as like, you know those like chocolate coins? Probably like that. They're like gold foil wrapped treats. But I don't know. Because gold doesn't taste like anything. Yeah, like in the tin foil. How to get some other things? Yeah, that's kind of one of the only hard ones. Most other iridium things are like obvious how you get them. But yeah, that one you have to... Uh... <laughs> have to have ostrich eggs for. Now, there are two very hard ones. Well, actually three. Actually four. The small milk, the small goat milk, uh, and then the two small colored eggs. Which are the brown and white eggs. And those are almost impossible to get iridium for. You have to, like, intentionally lower the friendship on some of your animals, but keep their mood high. So you, like, intentionally don't feed them for a while. It's weird. I might do it at some point. I might just not care enough to. Because they have to have low enough friendship to give, like, the lesser versions of the objects, but high enough mood to give iridium quality. It used to happen on always in the winter, because uh, the heater maxed out the mood. But with the different mood changes lately, I don't actually know how to do it. I'd have to look into it. I think the easiest way to do it is just to just, when they get to max friendship, just sell your, um, or even half friendship, just sell your existing, like, chickens and then buy new ones. Might be the easiest way to do it. Not sure, though. Got lots of squid. Only nine row. We've got a few more tries here. Do-do-do. I wonder if I could get away with the um, challenge bait. Not when I'm going for chests is the only problem. Like, challenge bait and going for chests are kind of incompatible, unfortunately. How did that happen? Oh. That's how that happened. My dog is barking. Oh. Amazon truck. Gets you every time. Yeah, I'm working on the uh, <laughs> the fish as well, Tally. I really want to do it as well. That's why I have a quality bobber right now. Uh, no, it would not. They only work on the fish's name. If you put the regular legend into a bait maker, it just doesn't do anything. It makes it makes the bait, but legend bait, but like the bait doesn't do anything really. It's cute though. Alright, we can keep fishing for a minute. You can make Legend 2 bait, though, from Legend 2s. They're considered separate fish, though, so... It doesn't work on Legend 1, and vice versa. Legend, the prequel. My hands are sore. And I couldn't figure out why, but now I remember. I helped my friend move yesterday. <laughs> that would be why. 
When's Legend 3 coming out? In theaters this fall. Legend 3. If the legends are separate, do you have to stack both? I only have to stack one, because there's no way to get more than one regular legend. So, I only have to stack the second one, I should say. I meant one of them, but I don't mean the first one, you know. Because the original legend, you can only ever get one of. There used to be a glitch where you could get multiple, but that was patched, so... No need for that no more. Multiplayer would allow for it, yes, but this is explicitly not multiplayer. Partially for that reason. There's a lot of really bad multiplayer stacks. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, you can get three now. That's true. With challenge bait and wild bait and stuff. You can't get 999 is kind of the point I was trying to make, though. Also, I can't get any, because they no longer exist on this file. And they've already been caught, so... I can't get any legendary fishies. Three statues of perfection in your two-player multiplayer. You can do that without even multiplayer. But multiplayer makes it a lot easier. <laughs> Oh, not anymore, actually. Not 1.6. That got patched. Buy a new PC and start over. I could just start a new file. The new PC doesn't really make a difference with that. <laughs> also, there's probably a way to just edit the save file to make it, like, say that the legendary fish have not been caught yet. But I'm not going to edit the save file for that. Uh, the glitch involves breaking the statue and then getting a new one from Grandpa's Shrine. You can't dupe like you can in multiplayer. How to not pass out 101. Oh, Endless Fortune? Yeah, you can buy as many as you want for Endless Fortune. You just keep going buying more. True Perfection, there's no way to get multiple except for duping, multiplayer duping, which works no matter what you're doing. <laughs> the Q statue is the True Perfection. Yeah, you can't do that in single player, no. There's no way to dupe it in single player. So this guy right here with the heart. Wow, that's a lot of lag for no reason. I'm bad with the names or things. No, you're fine. It's not like a super well-known thing or anything. I happen to know all of these things just because I played this game a lot. <laughs> We're going to put the bait in there. Keep it there. 316 squiddies. Get the rest of these fish out of here. 12 albacore. 15 tailored mirror shorts in your chest. <laughs> yep. <laughs> these guys. I got 42 in here. And then 999 in here. Um, let's give these to the ostriches. I think that's where they're going next. It is required, yes. In 1.6, you can get this version now. In fact, you can get as many of these as you want. I've just been doing it once per week to spread it out a little bit. Uh, this was from a glitch in 1.5 that's since been patched. But since you can get these now, you can just tailor them into these. Uh, so, yeah, you can get both of these now in 1.6. It was a glitch. 
Yeah, you put staircases in your pants slot. It was not intended. <laughs> it just happened to be the item ID of them matched. No, it was not intended. I thought it originally it was intended as well. It's kind of funny that it wasn't. Unintended Easter egg. I don't think it works like that, unfortunately. Ronnie! Look at this beautiful thing. I know, right? Where does he get all this underwear from? Lizard! I've been infested by lizards! Welcome in, Leftover Lizard. I hope you're having a wonderful day so far today. If you all don't know the Leftover Lizard, Lizard's a wonderful streamer here on Twitch who has recently been working on a collect every item in 1.6 challenge. Have you beaten the 1%? Are you are you up to 2% yet? <laughs> Welcome in, Lizard. I hope you're doing well today. Can we get a shout out, by the way? Lizard is great. Five albacore. Oh, you're up to 7.2%? Nice. Four purple shorts, three tea sets, two monster musk, and an ostrich in the big barn. That's actually really good, Incarnadine. You even match the syllable syllables. Hi, Mags. Welcome in, Samantha. Hello, Burnt Soup. Hello, Lizard. Hello, I do like your channel. Here, let me give you a, one of them big old shoutouts. That's Leftover Lizard. Go follow Lizard. They're awesome. I have strong feelings on correct meter with poetry and jokes. You worked hard on that. I'm proud of you. It's not funny unless it's perfect. Yeah, okay. We got the right ones on there. How do you burn soup? You can definitely burn soup. It, like, sticks to the pan. Kind of. I have done that before. It is not pretty. <laughs> it also depends on the soup. Like, if it's mostly water, it's probably just going to boil off, and then the remainder stuff will burn. But, like, potato soup? That'll burn. <laughs> burn to boiled egg. That's kind of impressive. I don't think... Does it, like, burn? It would just be gross after a while, probably. Fall apart, maybe. I'm very talented. Ooh. Boiled egg sounds good. Actually, I'm suddenly getting really hungry. Oh, because it's 6 o'clock. <laughs> that would be why. Hey, we finished another stack. Okay, so... One, two, not even three yet. We got a while yet on the apricots. Soup is very talented. This is true. Can confirm. All right, let's grab the rest of our gear here. Drop you off. Correct position everything. Is my axe in here? Hey, my axe is in there. Guess we don't need it very much. It replaces the horse whistle with something else? <laughs> the horse whistle is so good, though. How was your stream, by the way? Oh, Lizard. Yes. Enjoy your lurk. Sorry, I missed that. Do your self-care. And thanks for the good lucks. Alright, what do we got here? We got snow yam juice and pickled winter root. Oh, that's a cute combo. Hey, 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 it's Onion! Welcome in, Onion. I hope you're doing super well today. It's lovely to see you. How are you, Onion? Y'all don't know Onion. Onion is amazing in every possible way. There, I went there. Alright, we need... Winter Root and Snow Yam. I believe it's the 
Snow yam juice winter root pickles. Yes. Okay. That's right. Um, where's my fairy dust? There we go. I should really put the fairy dust down here or something. Alright, you get pickled, you get juiced. There you go. You passed your final! Congratulations, Onion! That's awesome! Something's wrong with these birds. They're on top of each other. It's kind of cute, though. Proud of you, Onion. You've got a book of stars. They were mating. You're very quick to assume that. I wasn't shaming them. It's the circle of life or something. Okay, what else we got here? Uh, okay. Let's just head over here. I guess those would have been ready tomorrow. Alright, we are gonna grab the sap today. Snow chicken fights. That's it. Astro, welcome in. Hope you're doing well today. Hello, hello. You don't need a million of it. Well, funny you should specify exactly that number. Because I don't need that much. I need slightly less than that. <laughs> Very slightly less than that. about <laughs> you started love is war isn't it amazing that show is incredible <laughs> I should rewatch it before school comes back um is that Burkel right when we're talking about anime pops in with the sub no way Y'all don't know Brooke. Brooke is a super awesome streamer here on Twitch. A very awesome person. Very fun. Very funny. Absolutely go give Brooke a follow. Brooke, thank you so much for the subscription. Welcome back to the stack for the 20th month. Enjoy your emotes, your sub badges, and your ad-free viewing. Anime would summon me. I started um a show today. Gosh, what's the name of it? It was actually like super cute. I was very impressed by how cute it was. It felt like it was going to be trashy from the title and premise. Uh, what's the name of it? Let's see if I can't find it real quick here. I'm gonna say it wrong. Senpai is in Oto... Kanako? Oto Kanako? I don't know exactly. Basically the main character is like a cross-dressing guy and like, it's like a love triangle between his childhood best friend and a girl who likes him. And it's like actually super cute. <laughs> like so cute. I don't know, do you like really cutesy stuff, Brooke? I assume you do, yeah. Your, your room is pink, of course you do, what am I saying? I was impressed. I thought it was gonna be a little bit, um, you know, you know how shows like that can be sometimes, but I was pretty impressed. <laughs> Can't just assume I love cute anime. <laughs> but your cat's cute, so you, I know you love cute things. Um, I think we did everything. Yeah, I think we're done. Is this ready? Spring 5. Uh-oh! 
Leah, are you upset with me? <laughs> Sorry, I went to bed. She's been absolutely bonkers. Did you get her fixed? Shoujo girlie's getting fed. Leah was in bed yesterday. I should give her something. What do you even like, Leah? Salads or something? I don't know. Why are there eggs in here? Have a salad, woman. You won your education? Good job, honey. Yeah, it's probably better just to get her used to dry food because wet food is not cheap. I have seen my love story with Yamada Kun at level 999. I liked it. There was a lot of really good romances that season. That was the same season as, um... Ah, gosh, what was the name of it? Skip and Loafer? Yeah, Skip and Loafer, which was maybe my favorite show of the year. And there was, like, two other romances that season, too. That was just a good season. Lee having to climb over the bed every time. You know what? That would actually make me upset a little bit. That's fair. Oh, gosh. We're fishing again today. I didn't even notice what day it was. Well, I mean, we have to wait until night market anyways. The season is also stacked for romances. Dude, the losing... Too many losing heroines is so good. I've been obsessed with that. I want more. I want more! She's currently chasing her tail. Aw, that's so cute. I didn't even know cats chase their tails. I wouldn't. I don't think I've ever actually seen a cat chase their tail before. Uh-oh. Unstable! Unstable! Uh, I, th I thought this might happen. My internet's been wonky lately. Okay, maybe, maybe it was just like a one quick off thing here. Buy a new sub or gift a sub by 819 to get three months of Apple TV Plus. Cool. <laughs> All right, we're back now. Is it stable now? Sneakers is perfect. Sneakers broke the stream by doing cute, too cute. That's also possible. Hunting. <laughs> That's super cute. Thing here. My cat ate your Ethernet cable. It happens. It does look tasty. Actually, my Ethernet cable doesn't look very tasty. Oh, you know what I watched recently? Um, 
this was a while ago actually but i finally decided to watch it, it was uh summertime rendering was the name of it i was very impressed with that show it um was kind of weird when it was airing i think it was like two years ago now because it like didn't come out until the end of the season unless you um yard your way to finding it but like if you all know parasite the maxim I was not a huge fan of that show. I thought it was good, but, like, I didn't love it as much as, like, so many people did. This was, like, my ideal version of that show. <laughs> like, this this was, like, just better Parasite the Maxim. It's like someone also agreed with me with that show and was like, I'm just gonna make a better version of that. <laughs> so, uh, high recommendations for summertime rendering. It's on Hulu, I think, which is weird for anime, but it is there. Actually, that, that was only like two weeks ago that I watched that. That wasn't that long ago. I'm watching a lot of shows this season. I guess it's what happens when I don't have work. <laughs> I can watch more anime. I'm pretty close to dropping a few of them, but we'll see. There's one that's called, like, No Longer Welcome in Another World, and that one... I'm just not really enjoying it that much. It does shock me. I don't know what to do with my time. I'm gonna have a more regular stream schedule when work comes back, because... Like, I'll be on a regular schedule. <laughs> I'm jealous. Don't worry. I'll be working hard soon. I've only got two weeks. It's like one of those things, bro. It's like, you want more time, but then you get more time and you don't do anything with it. At least that's what happens to me. That's fair. My goal is just to rot. Rotting is healthy sometimes. It's natural. Summer for semester two and it sucks. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. My schedule is really weird this year. I don't get a lunch. How can there be no lunch? I'll be fine. I'll be able to... So, our lunch is pretty early. So, I'll be able to eat at, like, basically 12.50. Which is a little late, but it's not, like, that late. Right? Like, that's a pretty reasonable lunchtime. So I'm not worried about it. Basically, just like I have to work during... I have classes during all the lunch hours. They they talked to me about it and they asked if it was okay. So it wasn't just like, no, you're doing this. But it, it works out better because I get like... I get like the two hours before lunch off. Okay, yeah, that is working. And then I get the last hour of the day off, which just sounds so nice. Like, the last hour of the day is awful. Like, every student does not want to be in that building. And I don't blame them <laughs> somewhat, because I get it. But they are just a big handful on the last hour of the day. So it's super nice to not have to work that hour. That's my prep hour now, basically. Hey, Shy Killjoy, welcome in. 
It's great to see you. All right, we got to get ready here for um Vision. We only need two of those and one of those. We had school the second half of the day for a week, and that messed up your eating schedule. Interesting. Yeah, I guess when you're used to something, like, what I'll probably just do is I'm going to have, like, a big breakfast, and maybe I'll bring, like, a snack just in case I really need it. But then I can just hold out until, like, 1 o'clock and eat then. It won't be that big of a deal. I could also eat earlier because I have an early hour off as well, but... This just seems better. Um, I came in here for a reason. I can't remember what it was. Mm. Little Ginger, welcome in, Raiders. I hope you had a lovely stream. Hello, hello. Welcome in, everybody. Hope you're doing super well today. I came in here for a reason. I don't know what it was, but it's probably not that important. <laughs> I was your stream, Little Ginger. Cozy Cat Invasion is underway. I don't know why I read that like that. It just felt right. Hello, hello, Miss Penguin Plays. Hope you're doing well today. Um, we got this guy here. Yeah. So we're going to want the quality bobber. Oh, do we want the magnet? We might actually just do deluxe bait. Oh, I'm not sure. This is tough out here, okay? <laughs> I have to make choices. Uh, but how was your stream, Ginger? What were you up to? What were you doing? Hope you had a lovely time, and thank you so much for bringing your community on over here. For those of you who don't know me, my name is The Algorithm. I do... Do we want to try the challenge bait? We might want to. I don't know if I can. It might just be too hard. Uh, I do mostly challenge runs of Stardew Valley. Right now we're working on our 999 challenge where we're collecting 999 of every stackable item on in the game. Stream is fun. Had some Stardew chill vibes today. How's your stream today? It's going super well so far. I'm having a lot of fun. Thank you for asking. Maybe we just take the dress spinner. I feel like the dress spinner is just the best. <laughs> or we could go cork bobber and try to do the... Um... <sighs> Let's give it a shot. The worst that happens... Oh, no, I can't do that. No, I changed my mind. It's not going to work. We could do the magnet bait, though. I'm going to try that. We got to grab the chest. This is the only problem. Take this. And then we need um, that... that and that and that should be fine we try to get some fish yeah that's the plan right now we're going to the night market uh specifically we want midnight carp or midnight squid bait i mean not bait sorry midnight squid uh row but right now we're really just trying to get two sacks of all those night market fish and we'll focus more on the row once we have that. Hi, Emily! I love that they do that sometimes. It's super cute. Where they just say hi to each other. In fact, I kind of wish they did it more. Whoa! <laughs> just slam my hammer. There's five dress spinners. I didn't even know you could get five dress spinners. And then all the baits and bobbers. I think we're done with baits and bobbers, though. So we're not going to be buying those. Like, if I do this, what happens? Okay. Even shift-clicking just gives you one. Interesting. Thanks, Ginger. Have yourself a wonderful, wonderful food. Enjoy your lurk. It's kind of a weird way to say that, isn't that? Alright, submarine time. Let's go. Take me down! Yo, 
You used to be able to pause and it would keep moving. That was fixed <laughs> in one of the 1.5 patches. Too early. Now! Hey, we got it! <laughs> Good start. Yeah, even with a cork bobber, that would be tough to do. Weed. 50% C, 50% weed. Look at that eel. You can't even catch that fish. Messed up. Hope you guys can't hear that. There's someone doing machine work outside. That fish is not in the game, just like straight up, right? <laughs> like, what is that? Okay. Wait, what? <sighs> I need it. Looks like an amoeba. It's like an eel with a... Uh, okay, you were an octopus, actually. I was on top of it when it ended. That's kind of annoying. It wasn't a midnight squid, anyways. Yeah, I don't think we can use challenge bait with these fish. Unreleased leak? Oh, it's a person. I don't think it was intentional. I think it was just kind of a cool thing. This penguin, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in. The eel update. <laughs> That'd be amazing. 69 eels added to the game. Sounds like a fun mod. Indeed. Can I stop getting seaweed now? I've gotten seven seaweed since coming down here. It feels like it shouldn't be possible. Oh, we got a pearl that time. Mermaid. No bingo bongo today. Hi, Royce. Welcome in. We'll get back to it. I'm not ready for it. What if Stardew Valley, but animals? Wait, that is already Stardew Valley. Come on, come on, come on! No! Oh, that's so sad. Alexa, play Despacito. Hopefully I said that quiet enough to not actually make... Eels built the fur! If eels had fur, that would be terrifying. Oh, that was supposed to be with the fur. You just spelled it fifth. I plead the fifth. Eel should not have fur. Okay, good. <laughs> I'm glad the Alexa didn't understand. I wasn't trying to set it off. I just wanted to make that joke. Challenge bait. <laughs> Next. 
next thing you know. Eels got low, 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 low. I bet Eels would win in Limbo. Which one wore out? Shorty got eels. <laughs> I'm glad there's a concert going on in chat right now. Thank you for the bless RNG, could you? Would you kindly? Could you, would you? I think this is a midnight quark squid. So we have a chance at row here. Come on, come on. Row, 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 row. No row. That's sad. Uh-oh. My fishing buff wore out. Frick it. Brittany Eels must do a cover. Hey, leave Brittany alone. Get the water. I played Raft with uh, Blinksy and Mal last night, and it was, like, super fun. I am, like, addicted to collecting resources in games. I just, like, have way too much fun with it. I think this is a blobfish. That fish is back, by the way, in the back window there. What are you? Look at it. It's gone. Yeah. Yeah, I really enjoyed Raft. The shark is just so annoying, though. It's like, I get it, you need, like, a threat at all times, but... It's just annoying. <laughs> Eventually we'll build a really cool raft with shark-repellent turrets. Come on! Oh, we didn't get it again? Boo. He has moves, though. That's true. Welcome in, by the way, Dak and Julius. Hope you're doing well today. Oh, we had an eel pole going. Eels with the fur. I did not see the other options. Hi, Ellie. Welcome in. With feathers? With regular eel cooked? What else do animals have? They have skin. I guess that's a regular eel. With the gills. Eels with the gills. Star drop bobber. I have the random bobber on. So it cycles between random ones in Carnadine. I guess like scales is another thing animals have. Um what else are animals? Skin, scales, feathers, fur, um, Amphibians have, like, a slightly different kind of skin, right? Is it just called amphibian skin, though? Like, is there anything special there? It's, like, slimier. Exoskeletons? Oh, yeah, there we go. Chitin, I think it's called, technically, right? Exterior bone is usually called, like, chitin.
I, I believe eels have gills. Skin and scales. Yeah, they must have gills, right? Oh, we got it! I didn't even notice! I wasn't even paying attention! That's it. You've gotta you've gotta want it, but not so much. Oh, that's a different fish too! That's like a weird shrimp thing. I haven't even seen that one before. And maybe that's actually the super cucumber. Just kind of blue. Oh, uh, let's not lose the fish. Don't lose the fish. You kind of want it, but not actually pay attention to it. Act nonchalant, yeah. It has antennae. 1.7 spoilers? Hi, kitty. Someone already made that joke about the last one that went by. It'd be kind of cool to get more fishies. <laughs> when the jaws open wide and there's more jaws inside, that's a more. That's wonderful. Did you come up with that on your own, Onion? That's good. Ooh, good luck day. You should have. Had you lied there, I wouldn't believe you. I'm a plagiarist. I am very honest and I never lie. That's something a liar would say. Sunday we went, so yeah, we're not done here yet. But I will give a cracker away. Nope. There it goes. Here's my favorite I've seen. When the moon hits your knees and you mispronounce trees, sycamore. <laughs> I like that one. That's good. Alright, let's fill up the hay. Open the chest. When it sucks the light from the slide and refuses to die, that's a lamprey. Is it called lamprey? I thought it was lamprey. That's a lamprey. Take me to dinner first. It's at least five pieces of pay. That's what they say. Grab all the sap. The sap is the best. Hope you get at least two sap from this. Me too. It'd actually be really embarrassing if I didn't. Lamprey. You've given me no knowledge with that statement, kitty. <laughs> Scaling. Not enough sap, too much sap. All the saps. All the sap things. Truth is, truth being, I'll take one nip. You're right, it's poison.
Oh, we're up to infinity grains of wraiths. It'll loop back around eventually. Mahogany trees, let them go. It's lamprey. Isn't that what I said? Lamprey? I might have said lamprey. I thought I said lamprey. Hm. That sounds right to me, though, yeah. Sycamore. <laughs> I like that one a lot. When the sap hits your mouth like a bunch of pitter fouls, that's mahogany. <laughs> got it, got it. We well, shouldn't have pronounced it so wrong. Oh, I remember what I was supposed to do. It's bread day. Fresh bread. Ooh, baguette. Oi, oi. Um. Highly. <laughs> <laughs> I can't think of any words right now. Uh, French words. I'm saying French words. I already have stickers on my head, Royce. Okay, whatever. If you all don't know Lee Chat, Lee Chat is a wonderful streamer here on Twitch. Who you should all absolutely send a follow to if you're not already doing so. Hi, Lee Chat. Welcome in. I hope you're having a wonderful day so far today. Onion, can you shout out the shop phone for us? Baguette? That's the only French word I know. Hi, Lee Chat. You already did? I don't see it. Is that the second thing Lee Chat said? It was the second thing Lee Chat said. Okay. That would be why. Croissant? Waffle? It's not French. It might be. Mm -hmm. We need some challenge bait. Je m'appelle onion, petite onion. Comment vous appelez-vous? I went to the wrong spot. Ooh, I would like a croissant right now, though. What's everyone's favorite pastry? Love it. Baguette, mademoiselle? We're just gonna speak French now. I'm sure Lee Chet is very offended by all this. Pop-Tart. <laughs> Thank you, Royce. <laughs> I think you made a lot of people just cringe all of a sudden. My favorite baked good is yes. Me too. Retain none of the information from your French immersion. That one chatter we banned that one time might be, but I'm not. Oh, did you have to ban someone because they didn't like or... <laughs> Wait, what? Because they were... Wanted everyone to speak French, or were offended when people made fun of the French or something? Oh, the Olympics are in France, aren't they? Sunny, thank you so much for the 25 stream streak. Leech at hype indeed. I like pastry. None of you are being particularly specific, huh? Croissants are good. I kind of just like sourdough bread, though. Synchronized diving, Canada? Onion, why are you so Canada positive? 
Argentina got wrecked in volleyball by the U.S. <laughs> Go Canada, though. No, careful, careful. Got it. Your mom makes fresh bread, and it's so good. That does sound delicious. Delectable, in fact. American gymnast whose whole job was pummel horse? Do you mean Simone? I think she does more than just the pummel horse. She's like the best gymnast in the world, isn't she? In women's hockey. Oh, did you? Nice. Oh, okay, it was men's gymnastics. What do you mean when you say his whole job was pummel horse? Ooh. I don't know what that means, though. His job is horse. He did it well. Oh. Is that abnormal? To just compete in one event? I don't know. Making it for the Olympics at all seems pretty cool. Most people are only there for one event, aren't they? <laughs> Maybe for gymnastics it's different. I don't know. That doesn't seem that odd to me. Oh no! Oh no! IDK America. I'm American and I don't IDK America as well. I was slightly late. Evan Stevens? I'm still kind of just confused by this. Okay, gymnasts normally do more than one. I see. So that's the weird thing about that. I probably should have grabbed that, actually. How did I miss the... I'm so dumb. I missed the chest for no reason there. I wanted to, like, perfect catch it, because I was... Yeah. One of England's archers was the world number one and wore a pink bucket hat. What is England's obsession with wearing buckets as hats? This is the second time I've heard about an English person doing it. Which isn't that many, but it's weird it's happened twice. Hi, Kianis. Welcome in. Hope you're doing well today.
Okay, positions are usually multi apparatus. Ah, I see. So he specifically is just really good at Palma Horse. You an octopus? You're a meanie, that's what you are. Yep, octopus. Bogo's pinted. Buy one, get one free. Pinted? Buy one, get one free pints. Sounds pretty good to me. Uh, okay. Hank Green quote about Pummel Horse Guy. Well, I'm down for like six of those things. Also, that is a sentence I had never expected to hear before. <laughs> That's incredible. <laughs> Pommel that horse. Jess has been lurking. If you're not following Jess, follow Jess. Do it. Wonder if that's convincing. Uh oh. Better just get it. No, I do not want sea jelly. I want midnight carp. It's better to burn out than fade away. Onion, no, not in chat. People are gonna think I condone such things. I came here to escape the brain rot. I'm sorry, Royce. There's no... This is not a safe harbor. What's your aura? Purple. Got it. The drop. Stop giving me sea cucumbers. I don't want them. I don't want them. Hey, the shrimp's back. Dude, I need to watch that movie again so badly. I'm hoping it's going to be on Crunchyroll. The last few uh, Haikyuu movies have been, so I'm hopeful it will be. I'm going to watch it like 10 times. It was so good. I crave the movie. Have you not seen it yet, Onion? Oh no. I'm sorry. Oh, you did. Okay. I remember your tickles, tickets got canceled, right? You haven't seen it yet? Well, we know what we're doing next for movie night. As soon as it comes out. We only had it for five days. Yeah, that's not atypical. Not atypical is something I would avoid saying, probably. That's pretty normal. I think they had it for two weeks here. I should have gone again. I thought about it. Ooh, I almost missed... Oh, 
This is a midnight squid too. Nope, never mind. It's a spooky fish. It is in fact your 78. fish. I mean, we still need it, but it doesn't feel as good. We didn't get row anyways. If I had gotten row, I would have been a little upset. My eyes are just like completely transfixed by the fishies. Soupy fish. Well, don't burn it. Oh, we're good. Sit up. chance what's it gonna be nope it's gonna be nope getting late already want iridium quality it's midnight so the next fish is guaranteed to be a midnight carp theory busted myth busted although this could be one it's either a spooky fish or a midnight carp well we got a chance nope Midnight's in the name. It's true. Blobfish. Dang, I really would have wanted that stone in the fishing challenge. <laughs> Up top here. Boom. Come 
on, come on, come on. Nope. One more fishy. Rock percent. Well, Bella, welcome in. If it isn't the algorithm. How's stacking going, my dude? It's going super well, Bella. I hope you're doing good, too. Oh. <laughs> the bread. I forgot I sold it. 100,000 worth of bread. Alright. Unfortunately, I'm getting really tired. I think I'm going to have to work up to longer streams in a bit. But we're going to go ahead and probably call stream here. Got still one more day at Night Market, unfortunately. Thanks so much for hanging out today. Home from therapy and work in a shower. How are you feeling in regards to the kids coming back so soon? I try not to think about it. I'm actually kind of excited for work. I, I wouldn't mind more summer, but I'm excited for it. Bye, everyone. Thanks so much for hanging out today. Let's go ahead and see who is live. I know some people are live. Let's see here. Mm. Bye, Crafty. Thanks for hanging out. Oh, dude. Habu is still going. Oh, it's in the middle of a run. Oh, it's a good run. Okay, we're raiding into Habu. Abu's on a good uh, run right now for CC. Absolutely grating. I'm gonna go watch. <laughs> Alright, I'll say bye's in just a second here. Gotta get that raid started. Alright, raid's going. Bye. Wait. There we go. Thanks, Onion, for sorting that out. Bye, Onion. Thanks so much for hanging out. Bye, Bella. Bye, Jelly Dog. See you later, Burnt Soup. See you later, Royce. Goodbye, Crafty. Goodbye, Incarnadine. See you later, Jess. I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day, and I'll catch you all in the future. Bye for now, everybody.